Good evening, everybody, and welcome to my pre-calculus class. All right, Mr. Pereira is my name. I've been teaching at Temecula Valley just shy of forever, right after the dinosaurs. I came along. Anyways, my 28th year teaching, and um, a little bit about myself. I'm really active. I enjoy the kids. It's really weird for me not having them here. I don't like it at all. Um, my strength as a teacher is getting to know my kids and joking around with them, making them feel comfortable and relaxed and you know they work hard for me and realizing it's for them and all that so that's extra challenging for me this year by when I don't have the students sitting here but anyways um, like I said I've been here a really long time I've been uh, involved in a lot of things here at the school I've coached various sports but mainly football I was a freshman head coach for from 1997 or from uh, I coached football since 1997 a couple years back and I was a freshman head coach for like a decade probably around I think 99 to 2009 something like that um, anyways had a lot of fun loved it I'm doing different things right now I travel a lot with my wife and we do go on student trips before the coronavirus every spring break and um, for me I love my family my wife my kids um, and I'm an outdoors person I'm really getting into uh, backpacking I love the ocean um, I like sailing uh, all water things, surfing, kayaking, scuba diving, I'm into all that. I love nature and the outdoors, so that's kind of me. I'm easy going about everything, and if I had my way, I'd just be outside like all the time, except for when it's 110. All right, let's get to our class, so. All right, so pre-calculus, all right, textbook. They should have one checked out, it's right there. I'm sure they all do, I don't think there's any issues with that. And um, calculators. All right, um, they must have a log key, so just look for the calculators. They should be like the, like a TI-30, something that's a low level, like $12 calculator at Walmart. And just look, it should have a key that says log. There's a lot of fancy ones out there now that have all kinds of stuff, but they don't have the logarithmic function that the kids need for pre-calculus. So make sure it has a log key, you're good to go. You don't need to buy an expensive calculator. Um, so there's really no need for it. When you go on, if you do need one, the school will issue it to you, okay? This is a rough scale here. I like to be flexible and, you know, wherever we are as a class, sometimes we need different things and I'm, I like to feel free to change that and adapt to the students and, and make it the best class possible. But my tests are 100 points. Quizzes range from to about 10 to 30 points. Assignments could change a little bit, but not too much because I never know who does those assignments, all right? Um, Anyways, and this is typical grading. You're, if your kids have been at Temecula Valley, that's what the math department does, and it's been that way for your students already. Um, a, a big difference here is that your test is your test. You can't just make up a test over and over again like you might feel in a lower level class, okay? Your quizzes, however, if you do poorly on a quiz, that purpose is really to for the student and myself to gauge where the kids are and the students to gauge their progress. So if a student does poorly on a quiz, and then learns that material and does better on the test. So let's say I was having a bad week, I got a C on my quiz, I got an A on the test. Okay, then I'll go in and change your, your quiz grade up to the test grade. So if your quiz is lower, I will raise it up to your test grade because you learned that material now and I'm totally good with that. All right, okay, help after class every day. Um, mistakes for students, just not asking for help. Uh, Pre-calculus, I usually don't have too much of a problem with that. They're far enough along, they know they need help or whatever, maybe less embarrassed to buy it. And now that we're in the online environment, they can just stay after with me and I'll help them as much as possible, or sorry, as much as possible and as much as they need. Um, other than that, they can email me anytime and I can set up a one-on-one -on -one meeting with them and tutor them, whatever they need. I'll really be there indefinitely. As long as they wanna get help, then I'm there to help them. So. And my last thing is here, bam, you can do it, all right? So um, I get a lot of kids that are not strong on math and, and pre-calculus is a challenging class, but I'm pretty good with the students. And if they take the time and learn well what we're doing now, it's like a lot of review of Algebra 2, they'll get their skills up and get used to working with me. And by the time we roll to the second semester with the new trigonometry material, which is where it would be a difficult, they're ready and they don't even notice the change. So that's typically what happens. Um, and your kids are really good. When, when they're not good at math maybe, most of the kids that leave here, once they finish with me, they're not gonna be not good at math anymore. They're gonna be pretty good. They'll be pretty solid. It'll, it'll be a um, huge help to them in tasting, taking their like placement exam, stuff like this. So this is a great place for kids to go. And to me, a minimum that you wanna finish in high school 
for the reason that if they do go on to college, which I expect most of them have plans for, then they're going to need to take college algebra and probably a statistics class, which I also teach. Um, but for the college algebra, it's going to finish right here. And you know how nice for them to have already had that math and to go see it again in college when it counts, they're paying for it, be able to pass that class and get on with their math and get on with their life. So, and um, for the other students that are doing well, they'll be well prepared to go on to calculus. We have a very high success rate with students come free, from pre-calc going into calc. They do very well. Um, and traditionally in the past, they've often, um, I, I believe consistently, we have a higher pass rate in calculus than the kids that are ahead of them now and go on to pre, to, sorry, to accelerated pre-calculus, which is the advanced course. And uh, we have a higher pass rate with the kids that like slow down, get the rigor, get that here, and then go on to take calculus. So um, anyways, please email me if you have any questions and I'll keep it brief and short for your time and mine. You guys have a great day. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.